So how's this for good use of spare time during the pandemic? Inventing an affordable, mind-controlled prosthetic arm. What's more, the person behind the creation is still in high school. 17-year-old Benjamin Choi made a prosthetic arm controlled by an artificial intelligence algorithm that interprets the user's brain waves. His project has earned him national recognition, and he was a finalist at this year's Regeneron Science Talent Search. And we are lucky enough to be joined by Ben right now. Ben, congrats on this invention. Tell us more about this arm. How did you even make it, and what was the inspiration? Sure, yeah. I was actually hoping to do a brief, you know, live demo, but basically it's controlled by your brain waves. And so, essentially, when I focus, on the arm and the actions I'm doing, it essentially causes it to read up on those brain waves using artificial intelligence, and then is using that to control the arm, as you see here. There was also some. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say that is so cool. So you said you you have brain waves. How are you? How are you doing that? Are you telling it with your mind right now? Sure. Yeah. So essentially here. So if I focus now, the hand opens, and then if I just really concentrate on the act of clenching. Whoops, I, I, miss, I missed the cube there, but <laughs> essentially. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so essentially it's, the, one thing you'll also notice is that it, the arm is designed to get better over time, the more time it spends learning from your brain waves. And so basic, this is because of like the AI model I have running. And so. So what are you actually doing right now? Are, are you thinking like the actual process of picking something up with your hand, is that what you're doing? Sure, yeah. Maybe I can explain a little bit a, l a little bit more here. So essentially, the control is enabled via two components. So one is just, I have this EEG headset here, and what I'm doing is I'm taking the raw EEG inputs, th this is just like electrical activity on your skin. And my theory was is that that electrical activity is correlated to your thoughts, not the exact thoughts that you would use to control your hand, but ideas like intention. And so I ran this human study where I collected brainwave recordings from a wide variety of participants, where I asked them to focus on the idea of clenching their hand. And so basically, when they focus on the idea of doing something specific like a clench that produces a distinct pattern of brainwave signals, and the AI model is trained to do that. And some of the joints you may notice also are controlled by some head gestures. That is all. So, and then the hand is 100% brain waves. I have the other three joints are a little bit of a combination. The idea is ultimately to phase out the head gestures completely. But I was I haven't been able at the moment to get you know that good signal definition for that. But yeah, I'm still. I would say I'm still definitely working on. I would say it's pretty impressive. That is an incredible device there. Um, so, what what was your inspiration? Why even make this? Sure. So I was really inspired to make this when I watched this 60 Minutes documentary on mind controlled prosthetics. You know, I was really amazed by the life changing applications of this technology, but I was also alarmed too because current brain controlled prosthetics, they require this really risky open brain surgery and they can cost in the hundreds of thousands of dollars to produce. And so, you know, they're, they're not that accessible to people. And so my goal was to do something non-invasively. You know, my, my arm, you just have to slip on, on and off this miniature headset. It's, it's completely non-invasive. And the cost of my arm is also only $300 to produce. $300? Bucks? That's I, I, it? I've received funding from lots of organizations, but hopefully, I, I'm hoping that eventually become some a more accessible prosthesis for amputees around the world. 300 bucks sounds pretty cheap for a prosthetic arm to create one. Yeah, especially because current mind-controlled prosthetics are around four hundred fifty thousand dollars. So. So, have you seen yeah. any 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 interest for this arm? Uh, do you plan on uh, making it, uh, putting it to use in the real world? Sure. Yeah. Actually, the next step, I've been working with a couple organizations, but I'm planning to do a, a, a clinical trial where I'll hopefully have actual amputees test this arm. That's the the next step. I've gotten a lot of preliminary results, but they do need to be you know validated by you know more expensive, more extensive you know, experiments. But yeah, no, I think this has been really promising. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this can go. And yeah, I definitely want to make sure that this is something that actually, you know, can can be used. That's my ultimate goal. Very, here. very cool. So what's next for you personally? Any new inventions in mind? College aspirations? Sure. Well, I mean, at the moment, I'm definitely very interested in continuing this project. But at the same time, I think 
Well, one area I'm really interested in exploring too is the just brainwave interpretation in general. Uh, basically, a lot of the AI algorithms they wrote to interpret brainwaves for this project, you know, they're very versatile. I think they could have a wide range of applications. You know, figuring out kind of how to read minds is a is something that I think could have a lot of potential in other areas. So I'm definitely interested in exploring that. Well, it's very cool. Very good to talk with you. And congrats again on the invention. I'll let you get back to it and try to pick up that uh, that, that dice right now. Right. Yeah. I think you're this close to getting it, really. <laughs> ben yeah, Choi, yeah. All right. we look Thank forward to so seeing much. more of your invention, sir. Thank you so much for coming on.